Thank you, Chairman Kanjorski. Uh, as Chairman Kanjorski said, he and I uh, requested the GAO to do an investigation on uh, the motivations behind uh, the government intervention and bailout of AIG and who it was actually intended to help. And I'll be very interested uh, to find out the results of, of that study. Uh, for several weeks now, and even today, we, we continue to play kind of a, a game that children used to play, pin the tail on the donkey, uh, trying to put the plane uh, somewhere else. And uh, in truth, uh, there's plenty of blame to go around. Uh, AIG, their, the company, engaged in very reckless, uh, risky behavior. Uh, and I think we all have a right to be angered that uh, such a fine company at one time has been, uh, is in the mess that it's in and the effect that it's had on our economy. Uh, that's justified anger, so we could certainly pin the donkey on AIG and, and those within that company, most all of them long gone, who caused that. Washington, the regulators, they failed to do their job. We ought to blame them. That's justified. Uh, this Congress, some of our policies uh, have contributed to uh, some of that behavior, the failure to regulate, the failure of oversight by this Congress. Uh, we're to blame. Uh, the one people who probably aren't to blame but seem to be paying the tab is the American people. Uh, they're paying for it. All this bad behavior by uh, the company, all this bad behavior by our failure to regulate, uh, all the failure of us to take action in numerous uh, different areas, uh, we all should bear the blame. But I think at this point, uh, that anger shouldn't distract us from really the true issue and, and our, our goal today, and that's to try to recover as much of the taxpayer's money as we possibly can. That, uh, that ought to be our motive. And the blame game needs to be secondary uh, because we're all to blame. Now, the only possible successful outcome to this is to manage our way out of the current problems. Now, how do we do that? Do you think Congress can manage AIG? I don't think so. Take a walk through the visitor center. Three times over budget, five years late. We can't manage AIG. How about the regulators? There are a lot of empty desks at Treasury. I don't think that the Fed or the Treasury has done a very good job. How about a poll in Cong uh, on TV? Should we just take some poll results and uh, act from there? I don't think so. As unpopular as it may be, uh, I think the best opportunity that we have is to let that new team at AIG, uh, we're all upset over the bonuses. The bonuses were awarded and signed as contracts in 2007, long before Mr. Liddy and the new team was in place. And we're justifiably angry at him for may maybe not doing a better job of getting out of it. But he came in after the collapse of AIG with a $1 salary, and you can vilify this new management team if it makes you feel better, but resolving a company as large and as complex as AIG is no easy task. It was in a mess, and it will require a lot of good fortune. It will require an economic recovery. and. That's what they're doing now. 
they're unraveling the deals. They're shutting down this financial products division that has caused all of us heartbreak and, and harm, and that's going to take time. The people who set the policies that brought AIG to the brink of total collapse are gone. We need to give this new management team the time it needs to get the job done. They were assigned that job in September, and when we did it, and when the Fed did it, they said it would take two years or three years to do it. Uh, the government trying to get in more involved than it is is just going to be a, a sad experience. We need to let, uh, as I say, we need to, and I'll close by again saying it, not the, the solution here is not government running this company. It's, it's a private team, and they're going to need all the help they can get. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bunkers.